Hi, future me. Uh, I'm a little bit stuffy today. Allergies or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm dying. Uh, so today I went to see the new Godzilla movie, which, you know, it was kind of disappointing because, you know, Marcus, the theater near us, made this whole new, or they added on all the, here, yeah, that's right. I've got the brochure for it. It's called the Dolby Atmos Sound Revolutionized. Um, uh, 64 speakers and 128 audio streams, uh, and comfy chairs. So yeah, they added all this on, and they're like, oh, if you go to see Godzilla, then you'll get to try out the new theater. No, no, because X-Men came out also, so they moved that into the new theater. So I was stuck with the crappy regular theater, which was fine, actually, because less expensive so pretty good movie I mean for a Godzilla movie better than the Matthew Broderick one but um, there were just a couple parts that I thought were a little ridi ridiculous Brian Cranston goes back to his old house after 15 years and all the windows are blown out from the explosion or whatever all the windows are blown out there's like stuff flung everywhere and somehow the happy birthday dad sign that was taped up is still exactly there after 15 years I mean I don't think tape it was just scotch tape I don't think scotch tape lasts that long maybe they got some kind of new scotch tape I don't know um also with in the scene with the I don't want to spoil too much but when I post this it'll be a year after so in the scene with the big tsunami wave, a bunch of people run into a store and the windows just crack a little bit. They don't even break, which I found ridiculous since it's a giant wave and what is it like plexiglass? I don't know. But then in another scene later on, uh, they're evacuating the kids in a short bus and honestly, did the kids not realize that they were being evacuated? None of them seemed to notice what was happening. I thought that was kind of weird. Um, they're being evacuated, and a seagull hits the glass window and, like, damn near breaks it. So, when they're on the train tracks and the train is coming, it takes them at least five seconds to realize, oh, we should probably get out of the way. They're just standing there like, oh, and they jump off into the water. They had no idea of, they had no way of knowing how deep that water is. That could have been like an inch deep and they're just dead. What I would have done is, since it was an old, you know, wooden uh, train bridge, it has the the wood stakes coming out. So what you do is you just hang from those until the train goes by, right? Instead of jumping into water that is maybe an inch deep. But, yeah. I mean, the the creature itself, Godzilla, the way they did it, it was actually really cool. Um, Mothra sucked. If that's what that was supposed to be, I think that was supposed to be a Mothra. It was terrible. It had like a flat head and looked like a robot. Ridiculous. So, that's my review of Godzilla. Uh, have you seen any movies lately? How were they?